This week on Speaking of My History, we stop in Oklahoma to talk about Dr. Olivia J. Hooker, the first African-American woman to enter the United States Coast Guard and the last living survivor of the Tulsa Massacre of Black Wall Street in 1921. Born Olivia J. Hooker, February 12, 1915, in Muskogee, Oklahoma. When she was six years old, Hooker's family, mother, father, three sisters, and one brother, was attacked by the Ku Klux Klan. Members ransacked her home during the Tulsa Massacre of Black Wall Street. It all started in May of 1921 when an African-American male by the name of Dick Rowland, the age of 19, entered an elevator where he allegedly assaulted the victim, white female, 17-year-old Sarah Page, who worked as an elevator operator. Page eventually declined to prosecute. It's likely that he tripped and grabbed her as he fell, but the truth didn't matter. Rowland was arrested and the story escalated. The city, white residents emboldened by the Tulsa police terrorized Greenwood. They burned homes and businesses, including Hooker's father clothing store, S.D. Hooker and Company Clothing. Roughly 300 residents killed in Greenwood, known as Black Wall Street, for its businesses and its wealth, was all gone within 24 hours. After the riots, Hooker family moved to Columbus, Ohio, where Dr. Hooker joined the Delta Sigma Theta sorority, where she had advocated for African-American women to be admitted to the Navy. She earned her Bachelor's of Arts in 1937 from Ohio State University. Ten years later, in 1947, from the Teachers College of Columbia University, she received her Master's and in 1961, she received her PhD in psychology from the University of Rochester. Dr. Hooker tried to enlist to the Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Services, AKA the Waves, of the United States Navy and was rejected twice. Dr. Hooker stated in a recent interview that the reason was due to her race. Her third letter, she says, was answered by Navy Secretary James Forrestdale, who told her she can start at the bottom and work her way up. But by then it was too late, because Dr. Hooker had become the first African-American woman to enter the United States Coast Guard. In February 1945, she became a SPAR. Until her unit disbanded in mid-1946, Dr. Hooker earned the ranks of Petty Officer Second Class. Dr. Hooker moved upstate to work in the mental hygiene department of the Women's Correctional Facility in Albion. Many women in this facility was considered to have severe learning disabilities, so the staff said. Hooker believed they were more capable than given credit and reevaluated them and helped the women to pursue better educations and jobs. She credited this success with approaching them with an open mind. In 1963, she joined Fordham University as a senior clinical lecturer. Eventually, she served as an associate professor until 1985. She was one of the founders of the American Psychology Association, the APA Division 33. Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. She served as an early director of the Kennedy Child Study Center in New York City. Dr. Hooker retired at the age of 87. She joined the Coast Guard Auxiliary at the age of 95 and is still serving the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary in Yonkers, New York. Dr. Hooker has spent the majority of our 103 years learning, teaching, and living out the best belief that if you want to see a change in the world, you better do it yourself. She's dedicated her life to serving others with a humility and generosity of spirits that seems
have disappeared in 2018. One of my favorite quotes by Dr. Hooker, I wasn't trying to make a name, she says. I was just trying to be an example. Dr. Olivia J. Hooker. I'm your host, GB the Speaker, and thank you for tuning in to Speaking of My History. Come on and ride with me.